linear programming. Example, find the maximum and minimum values of the given object function of a linear problem. We're given the function z is equal to 4x plus 2y and we're given the coordinate 0, 6, 0, 3, 4, 0, 5, 2, and 5, 6. Here's the analytic solution. What we'll do is we'll take our function z is equal to 4x plus 2y and we'll simply substitute in each ordered pair. We will substitute each first coordinate as x and each second coordinate as a y. So for our first ordered pair we substitute x for 0 and y for 6. We get 12. We will substitute in the next ordered pair in our function, x for 0 and y for 3. We get 6. We substitute our next ordered pair, 4 comma 0. Simplifies to 16. Our next ordered pair, 5 comma 2. x is 5, y is 2 solution is 24 and for our last order pair 5 comma 6 x is 5 y is 6 it simplifies to a 32 so if we compare all of the values we see that we have a maximum value at 32 and that happens when our coordinates are 5 comma 6 we have a minimum value at 6 and that happens when the coordinates are 0, 3. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. Here we'll enter the x's in list 1 and we'll enter the y's in list 2. In order to accomplish this, we'll enter our stat and we want to edit our list so we will simply press enter. So we're going to enter our x's as list 1 so in list 1 we should have 0 0 4 5 and another 5 for list 2 we have 6 3 0 2 and 6. So now we want to pull out the following values. So we'll go back to our home screen, which is the quit key, since it's a yellow function, is second and mode, which is our quit key. And we'll simply enter in our function. It's 4 times x, but remember we stored our x values as list 1 plus 2 times y, and remember we stored our y values as list 2, and we're going to store everything in list 3. So it's 4 times list 1, so list 1 is 2nd and 1, plus 2 times list 2. We're going to store all of that in list 3. So if we take a look at our screen, we see that at our first ordered pair, 0, 6, we get a 12. Second ordered pair yields a 6. Third ordered pair, 4, 0, yields a 16, 24, and a 32. So we can see once again, verifying with the calculator, there's a maximum at the coordinates 5, 6. There is a minimum at the point 0, 3. And we can also take a look at the list on our calculator. So we'll simply hit stat. And we want to edit our list, so we'll simply press enter. And notice once again we have our ordered pairs and our maximum and minimum values.